Hi, this is Amanda from Writing Research and Technology. Um, I'm just going to give you guys my video proposal for the oral history project. Um, before I talk about what I want to do, um, the part of our assignment was to look at other videos that on a couple of websites we were given and listen to some other things. Um, my main the, well, the main thing I wanted to talk about was on the storycore.com. Um, I listened to a few different oral histories, and there was one that I thought was really moving and really, well, not really nice to listen to because it was kind of sad, but it was a really good thing to listen to as far as how certain people can change other people's lives. Um, it was about this man who got in a motorcycle accident, and he was told he was going to have to get one of his legs amputated and he was going through all the surgeries and the treatment and the, he had like a nurse um, type of woman who was like helping him through the struggle not just necessarily physically as far as the things she was supposed to do but she was giving him hope and she was asking him things like what type of golf balls do you use and stuff that kind of showed that this isn't the end of the world you might there might be hope where you might not lose your leg and she bought him golf balls and stuff so she really helped keep his spirits up and they became very close and she told him that her father had died and she wanted him to walk her down the aisle one day and he was in a wheelchair and he was very interested to find that she asked that because he didn't think he would ever walk again and then at the end of it he says years later she contacted him and says she was getting married and he actually was able to walk her down the aisle he so I'm assuming he was obviously able to walk but I thought that was a really really good um, you know example of an oral history as for my oral history project I wanted to do the topic of anxiety. Um, I'm not quite sure completely about the angle that I want to go for, but I do want to do something with anxiety issues in people, whether it be you know my age or older, um, and how it affects their everyday lives. I think this is important because I know a lot of people who have a lot of anxiety problems and even get panic attacks with panic attacks with everyday life. Um, the reason I decided to do this is I actually have major anxiety problems. Um, I'm not on medication or anything, but I, when I get very stressed out, I have had panic attacks before, and they're very, very scary, and it's something I don't necessarily like to talk about, but I know it kind of runs in my family, so I know a lot of people who might, it might be good for them to talk about it, and, you know, it would be interesting to find out how a lot of people experience this. Um, as far as who I would interview, um, my best friend has a couple of anxiety disorders and she would be willing to talk about it and also my mom and two of my aunts. So I probably won't talk to all of them, but I'm going to pick one or two and focus there. So once I figure, I have to kind of talk to them and figure out exactly what angle I'm coming from, but that's probably the general idea of what I'm going to do. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening. Bye.